Hello, I'm Brian Johnson. Today we're gonna to use the uh, Clary's Pal to evaluate the lungs. And really what we do is it's sort of a two-stage process. We're gonna first evaluate for pneumothorax, and then we're gonna go deeper and look at you know, the entire lung to rule out pleural effusion, um, consolidation, or pulmonary edema. So first what we do is um, Clary's app, you're gonna have your lung shallow preset. There's a lung deep and a lung shallow. So we're gonna do lung shallow, for a pneumothorax. What you're gonna do is take your probe and just put it over the anterior chest, like this. And this is one of those where you just sit there and watch, okay? So what you're seeing is, you're seeing a rib, and then you're seeing below that, visceral and parietal pleura apposition. You're seeing good lung sliding. Some kind of, call it like a twinkling. Um, you also can see, um, small comet tail sometimes. You also call it ants marching. But what we're seeing is good lung sliding. And you can move down another rib space. Once again, you see those small comet tails. That's completely normal, indicative of lung sliding. And so basically we see no pneumothorax on this lung. If there's any concern, you can also go to M mode. So MMO basically tracks the movement of sound over time and depth of the probe. And what you're seeing here is you're seeing movement of the lungs distally. And that's a good sign. That tells us that there's good lung apposition between the visceral and parietal pleura. Sometimes people call that the seashore sign. Um, if there's no lung sliding, you wouldn't see any movement. It would look like a barcode, basically. So we've effectively ruled out a pneumothorax on this side. And you do the same thing on the other side. Just anterior chest, looking for that good lung sliding. Okay, so now that we looked at for pneumothorax, the next step is going deeper into the lungs. And for that, you need to actually change the lung preset. So I've actually programmed this PAL. So this button here, I just click it, and it changes my preset from lung shallow to lung deep. So now I'm in lung deep right away. So you have to break up basically the scanning area into an anterior, lateral, and posterior viewing. And like I said, we're doing this for three reasons. We're looking for pulmonary edema called B-lines. We're looking for consolidations. And we're looking for pleural effusions. So what I typically do is I just start anterior once again. This time we're going deeper. So we're going to set the setting probably about 18, 19 centimeters. What we want to see is what we're seeing in this healthy individual, we're seeing A-lines. There's these horizontal lines that's normal reverberations in the lung. Sometimes ribs can obscure a visualization, but overall we're seeing healthy A-lines of the lungs. And we move slowly, anteriorly, moving towards the feet, just looking at the lung parenchyma to make sure we're just seeing A-lines. So after we've done anterior, we go laterally. And really I kind of start towards the feet because I want to see, what I want to see is, I want to see this liver here. So there's your liver, we're turning up the gain, and then there's the diaphragm. You're seeing the diaphragm move with respiratory variation. And oftentimes right here is where we're gonna see your pleural effusion. And all you're doing is moving up, up the lateral aspect, once again, just looking for A-lines and making sure you see no pulmonary edema, or any consolidation. Just go as far as you can. So that's the anterior and lateral lung scan. We'll have the patient sit up to perform the posterior aspect of the side of the lung. All right, now that we've completed the anterior and lateral evaluation of the lungs, the last part is just to um, evaluate the posterior aspect. And so I have the patient touch their hands together so you can get some scapular movement and I start towards the head. And basically what I'm doing is once again, having a depth of about 18 centimeters, and we're basically going down the lungs to ensure A lines are present. We're seeing no B lines or pulmonary edema, and we're making sure there's no pleural effusions or consolidations. Now, if you're doing a thoracentesis, this is actually where we'd be doing it typically, and this probe is excellent to identify Great placement for a thoracentesis. So we scan all the way to the base 
of the lungs. So with those down at the bedside, you can identify pneumothorax, pleural effusions, consolidation, and pulmonary edema. Thank you.